Hey BBs, it's Max and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce. In today's video, y'all, I'm very, very, very excited to be here with you guys because today, happy September. It's September 1st already. I cannot believe it is already summer's practically over. It's very upsetting and um, disturbing to me. I think as a person, I love summer. Um, but today we're going over my August Dolly Dolly doll finds. We have a lot of dolls. I got a lot of dolls in August. I didn't realize how many I got, but there's a lot of secondhand dolls here, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. Um, so let's get into it. I'm very excited because obviously before we get into the new month, we have to go over the last dolls, obviously. First dolls I got were honestly, I bought these like a while ago. Like I bought these like mid July, but the seller took so long to ship them and i bought them in a lot because originally i was buying rock angel sasha the original one she was only 14 dollars listed on makari but the seller like would not ship this doll to me for some reason and like she kept like she made another listing for this doll and she's like 22 dollars and she kept like sending me offers on that one but then eventually she was like oh i'm sorry i didn't see your message okay girl and then she sent me a free doll as well she sent me the um budget like little laguna from g2 and sasha has been like such a holy grail for me like the original sasha and i've been wanting her for so long for so bad because we got the reproduction like a while ago and she was but ugly but this one's like really 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 pretty like just in the face like she is just so beyond stunning and i did take a couple of the pieces from the reproduction i took the hat and the the pants and the shirt and the shoes but the, sh the, the cell phone and the jacket I got in other lots that were from the original brat. So it's really cool to have some of her original pieces. I don't really mind the reproduction stuff that I have because um, I can't really tell, to be honest. I know, like, the denim is a lot nicer and, and thicker in the original one. But I'm very content and happy that my Sasha an Sasha is now rocking angels. Rocking an angel. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just think she's a really, really pretty base doll. Like, this is, again, like, a grail Sasha. Like, she's my favorite Sasha, like, at the moment in my collection. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've always loved the Sasha. She has the blonde hair with the, bl like the, the brown as well. And this just fishy, fishy face. And for, like, $14 plus shipping, I was very, very happy to kind of complete her. And I also got got the um the budget laguna her glasses fell off unfortunately i had her on some g2 glasses but she only came with the dress and no shoes these shoes are like ash and ella shoes from out after high i had seconds of them so i was like whatever i'll just put them on her they kind of fit the vibe not really though i hopefully will one day get her shoes because her shoes are like they're fine they're like g2 shoes but um i love getting g2 dolls honestly like they're really fun sometimes because like laguna's blue in g2 and she's like the nicer body so like if i want like a, an emotional support doll like usually i'll go for a g3 laguna but honestly sometimes i just want like a blue laguna no shade to the pink laguna fans out there i love miss pink guna but i like a blue laguna sometimes and this one kind of feels like if maybe if blue lagoon was maybe blue and g not really she this is a very clearly a g2 doll but i remember seeing these dolls in five below like forever ago and i'm happy that i didn't have to pay anything more for her i guess i'm just gonna split i think it's like 22 dollars for them too so like 11 dollars each after everything if i divide them but um it was like a free gift so i'm very happy with that i guess technically i don't know but she's cute and she's in a very again a very simple little dress i did her hair very simply i gave her a little thing and again i gave her glasses but the glasses are on the floor now but um I love adding this is like my second g2 laguna and i'm very happy about it i hope to get her original one and shipwreck that's my two goals for g2 she, she's dancing for you another lot that i bought in july that kind of came in august was this giant brat slot i got like six dolls so i'll go with them over them quickly because i already made a video on them but i am very happy with this purchase like this purchase was very tea these dolls were like 11 dollars each after shipping and taxes and the makari fees because makari is so expensive right now for some reason like their new policy made it more expensive for the buyers which is annoying um but i got sasha in the lot sasha was like the reason i bought the lot and i'm so happy i've been wondering which time wonderland sasha for a while just because i wanted to complete the collection not because i really like the winter time wonderland collection like this line's like fine it's kind of boring i'm not boring but it's like the summer party line where like i like having them like they're cute dolls like don't get me wrong like the bratz dolls are always gonna give you high quality at least in the original g1 run of bratz like they're always gonna give you like a design but like sometimes again like out of all the bratz lines like this isn't like my favorite collection but i just wanted to have it complete because i love a good like themed line like i love when the girls are like themed for something and i love a good like seasonal theme so like when it comes to winter time i can finally 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 have the wintertime wonderland collection on display and i have it like fully complete because i got the other ones like last couple years ago so I have Sasha now and Sasha's always like the harder one to find in the lines because um yes because people are weird and they fetishize her but she's so pretty she has this nice soft neckline hair and I gave her she came with the outfit in the lot because like some other dolls were wearing it but these are one time one of them Chloe's earrings or earmuffs I think from um from my other lot that I have and she's just so pretty I'm very grateful to own this doll I think I'm very happy and I didn't do her hairstyle because again like I love just like this 
silky like connect line hair sometimes like it's very nice to have just like a casual doll and also i'm bad at the wintertime wonderland slot line like the, the hair cells are very complex and also it's hard to work with connect line hair at least in my experience i always have such a hard time styling it so i just didn't want to do it but i went to more than sasha okay also from the lot, I got Tokyo Gogo -Go Fiana, which um, this poor girl has none of her clothes. So if anyone has like her original shirt, DM me on Instagram, please. I will buy it from you for like five bucks. I don't have that much money, but um, I really want to get her like her original shirt. I don't really mind the shoes not being hers because like they're just like sandals, like whatever. I can get like a shoe, but for some reason the shirt is like this is like a 20th anniversary Bratz Jade shirt. Um, it's just like it doesn't really fit the vibe. So I would love, love, love to get her original shirt one day. I don't really have her on display because she doesn't feel complete enough to be on display. Um, but I am very happy to have my first Tokyo Gogo -Go doll. Again, for 11 bucks, I'm not too angry about it. I did her hair. Her hair took like an hour to do because it was all like matted in the back and it was like not parted right so like i had to like fix it a little bit um and her elastics are already kind of rotting which is upsetting i did this like a month ago like a month ago i did this doll's hair but whatever um she's like and like not again not in the best condition but i was happy to own her and she's in the lot so like whatever why not at her you know she's cute look at how fun she is she's very different from the other brats dolls i have so got the 20 like the this is like a later version of sweetheart lily i don't remember exactly which one but i know she's like a budget one i have the original sweetheart lily somewhere in the collection she's no that's serena She's right there. No, that's snowboarding Lily. Lily? I don't know where my... Ugh, I don't know where my sweetheart Lily is, to be honest, on my display. But I have the other version of her where she just has, like, the blonde hair and it's a little bit shorter. I originally thought this doll's hair was cut when I first got it out of the package because it was, like, in a ponytail, I think it was. Or I don't know what it was. It was not... It was washed. So I was nervous. But her hair looks to be, like, the length that it has been on, like, the Look and Bratz website. And I kind of dressed her up in a couple other things. Like, she had her original tights, which was so exciting. This is a Wintertime Wonderland skirt that I put her in. A 2018 Chloe shirt. And these are just reproduction Nevra boots from the, um the funk outline or whatever that one was and i'm very happy for this doll i love a good lily doll lily always has a really good face mine is really really pretty as well and i just i might redo her hair and like straighten it because it kind of looks a little bit dead to be honest with you guys but um i'm very happy again for 11 dollars. i wasn't too offended by it and i don't really know if i'm not gonna get her actual outfit i've seen the outfit on aliexpress but it's like not that cute to be honest uh, though i got a secret uh, no this i keep calling it secret day never this is formal funk never and she came with her like actual like little chair and i got the formal funk runway disco like forever ago i got it like last year this time i think yeah i think it was like last august i got it and the lot also came with a lot of things for the promo funk disco that i just didn't have which is so 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 nice it came with the bratz little logo if you guys can see it right there maybe i'll zoom in for you guys so i'm very happy that it came with some accessories that i've been needing for a while and it's also just exciting to have like the original version of never because she's really really pretty she's very unique and different from the reproduction i would say but I don't think the reproduction is bad in her case. I think it's just a different doll. Like you can see, they're just completely different faces. Honestly, different skin tones as well. And the hair length is very different. So I don't know. I'm very happy that I have the original. I don't know if I'm going to sell. I think I'm going to keep the reproduction and maybe I'll get for bangs one day. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I want Secret Date Nevra. That's my goal. Secret Date Nevra is like the next Nevra that I want to get on my list if I can. Um, she's like my favorite Nevra, I would say, besides Live in Concert. But Live in Concert, y'all, is never happening. Um, but I'm very happy. She's very cute. She's complete as well. She has her everything. She has her bag still, like, even clipped to her um, jacket. I'm not going to unclip it because it's just going to stay there because I always lose Bratz bags. Bratz bags never stay on the dolls because they don't have posability, so they, it just falls off. But she has a really cute outfit. It's very it's very core of the Bratz moment. So I was very happy to have her in the lot. And again, for really cheap price i'm not angry about it and she has super nice hair like she was never touched i feel like um and she boiled up really nicely also have the birthday bash phoebe that i got this doll's also like in like okay condition i boiled her like twice and her hair is still i need to tweeze it to be honest with you guys because i'm flyaways um i just need to tweeze those out but i just have another time to do so but she's wearing an ooh -la, la um dana dress i gave her and the ooh -la, la kumi um shawl and these are just some brats pink shoes she came with like i don't know what clothes she was wearing but she's very pretty and i love clothes uh, phoebe phoebe's always a fun one i feel like i never have phoebe's in my collection but she has these really cool black streaks in her hair and her hair is very long i might again boil this again because it kind of is a little bit frizzy but um birthday bash phoebe And the last doll in the lot was the 2004 Celebra Celebration. I think it was Celebration, or it was called something stupid. Um, it was a pun, I think. This is the uh, holiday Yasmin doll, which I... Okay, I was born in 2004, y'all. I was born in 2004, so 
this doll is really exciting to get in a lot because I am 2004 and she's still, she's like celebrating 2004 and she's just adorable. I've had this like robe. I've had I have two of the robes now, which I'm, I love these robes. These are so gorgeous. But I've been having this, this like the robe. I've had the pants. I've had a lot of this doll stuff for a while. And finally having the doll is so, so nice. She has all this tinsel, which I didn't boil wash her because I was scared of the tinsel like frizzing up and dying. But um, I would love to boil wash her if I could. If anyone has any recommendations on how to boil this tinsel safely, I don't know if it's going to happen. But um, I also accidentally rubbed a little bit of her eyebrow off when I was cleaning her so apologize to this Yasmin I'm sorry but she came in a really good condition she had a lot of her extra accessories like her extra jewelry and her earrings and her her bag she also has her second outfit fully she has or she's missing a shoe she's missing one shoe but she has like the dress and she has a 2004 shirt which is so cool I'm excited to use the 2004 shirt I have no idea how I'm gonna do it but she has like this little tank top that just says 2004 which I think is the cutest thing ever and I just think she's really pretty I think there's a lot of brat dolls that are super super underrated within the community because like they're not rare they're not hard to find they're not da -da 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 -da, but I think a lot of them are just hidden gems within the community and I think this Yasmin is a hidden gem She's not like my favorite Yasmin or anything, but she definitely is really cool and cohesive and very brat. She's very high quality and she's very nice. And I love when, again, the dolls are celebrating something or they're doing something with like intention. Like I like when like she's just dressed to celebrate 2004. Like that's just, that's all she needs. She doesn't need like a crazy theme, but I love good theme. So 2004 Yasmin kind of ended off this lot and it was a really fun lot. I another lot as well, but I want to kind of separate it really quickly. So we're going to time jump into like late August. And I got this random little Monster High Laguna plush from um, eBay. My friend Sketchy, they sent me the link for this doll, for this plush. And I was so excited about this. This is a plush from a carnival game. It's from the Toy Factory. If you guys have seen this, I put this on my Instagram. If you guys want a higher quality of the, the tags and everything, I put this like a while ago. And I also have a picture of the doll. But um, it's like, not a doll, it's a plush. But um, she's here because the doll channel, duh. Um, I thought these were so hideous, but they're so funny in the same way that like this is like a G3 Laguna plush. And I never got the original Stitchling plushies or whatever from like the Walmart ones that we got like two years ago. I never found them in person. So I never got my chance to get my claws on them, but I was able to get my claws on this doll. This stuff was like $17 on eBay, which is a little bit expensive, I will say. But um, I just thought she's so fun and fierce. Like she just has like a weird little ponytail and I love weird merch like this. Like weird merch like this is really like, it makes your collection a lot more unique because anyone could buy the original core g3 laguna like i have seven of her no shade like i think i literally have seven of her but um this like random merch is always what gets me excited because like who has not that who has is like i was rare but like it's weird i love weird stuff like this um and she kind of sits above my um plushies right now with my other pillows and stuff and she's just really cute again the only story is that my friend sent me the link to her and um she's really cute and really fun i wonder if i think she might still be available if anyone has her maybe i'll put her link in the description below if y'all can find it but um the such a plushy laguna she's really fun and really silly because i'm insane and i bought that laguna i'm like well i want a g1 laguna plush right like i have to have a g1 plush and i found this one for three dollars on makari and after like shipping it was like maybe seven bucks this is the original not original this is like the second version of the laguna plush where they did a, the rag doll first and they did like this kind of plushy thing in like 2013 maybe what year was this does it say it on here no, it doesn't say a date, but this is like twenty thousand. Like this is like mid Monster High, like when Monster High was everywhere, like Thirteen Wishes era. I th think that maybe, um, like when they were just popping out, maybe twenty fourteen era. I would. I feel like they used Darko artwork for this. I don't know, but this is like Monster High at its peak, and they kind of were a little bit cheaper than the original rag dolls. I wanted the rag doll when I first was searching for the Laguna plush on Macari, but she was like fifty bucks or like thirty bucks. I'm like, I'm not doing that much for a plushie. So three dollars for her, and I got my little Laguna kick in, and she's really fun. I just lice all her down, and um, she's really pretty. She's not like again the highest quality or anything, but she has like her little flip, like, her little fins. She's also the G1 Wave One design, which is my, if y'all know me y'all know that i love wave one laguna and once that crew production restocks y'all i'm buying seven i'm not i don't even care i love this this is like my favorite look of any doll ever like my favorite doll again is wave one laguna like we've said that a million times on this channel but um i just think she's so pretty she's really cute little eyes and yeah she's kind of again cheap she has like satiny material but i don't really intend on playing with her or anything she's just gonna like sit on my shelf and look adorable and i like her little like platform flip-flops i don't know i thought this is a really fun one and maybe i'll get the rest of them maybe i won't i don't know but i have laguna net for now which is exciting and again i love random monster high merch like again as a big monster high fan like i just love merchandise dolls themselves are merchandise i i, I know that but like 
this random stuff. It's just, it gets me excited. I don't know. I also got this lot from my friend Cole, Cole Smalls. I love her dearly. And I have a video of me unboxing these dolls and kind of like their before and afters, but I have not uploaded it yet. So I'm going to try to upload it in September as soon as I can, like whenever I got, you know, have the time for it. But I want to show you guys them now as they're cleaned up. So if you guys are planning on watching that video, I apologize that we're going to repeat the content. But it's in my haul video, so I might as well show it. So the first haul that I got from Cole was the um, Wintertime Wonderland Jade doll. Again, this completes my full collection because I got Sasha originally. And then Cole um, was selling parts of her collection and um, I bought them. So I bought Jade. She is adorable, adorable, adorable. I did her braids and they don't like stay right. I don't know if I like them. But um, her braids and her hairstyle is done. I definitely, she has a little bit of a lip chip, but you can't really see it on camera. So I'm very happy about that. I want to get her some earmuffs. I might steal the earmuffs from Sasha and put them on her because I feel like she looks very bare bones without anything on her head i have an extra hat maybe from chloe so i can maybe put that on her but she has a lot of her stuff i gave her the bag that i got in a brat slot a while ago and i'm super happy to reunite her with it i actually have two of these bags so another jade is wearing it somewhere back there i think i don't know if you can even see it she has her jacket she has her sweater she has her pants and the belt and the little shoes she is so adorable i've had these pants in my collection for like two years as well like i've had these pants for so long and i've been waiting for this doll to come in my collection and i finally have her and um i'm very happy oh yeah the, the dolls from cole were also like around 11 dollars each each i think if i um add the subtract whatever i paid for it i don't remember but um they look so adorable and i have chloe um yasmin and dana as well if i and mentioned that three times already in this video but um yeah i love completing lines and these are just so fun um, it's, I feel more, you know, um, I feel like a lot more accomplished, accomplished. I feel excited when I complete older lines like this. Cause when you go to the store, like, yeah, you could buy the entire wave of Monster High School of Mid Secrets Wave 4. And like, yeah, you complete the line. Cool. But like when you really hunt for them and like you have stories with them, it's really exciting. So I'm very happy that I was able to complete this line from again, a friend. Um, and I also completed another line with, I'm mean, not completed, but like I completed it to my helpfulness. I got the two other rock angels that I needed. Cause again, I got Sasha. I've had Jade for a while as well. And I don't really want the original Roxy. I think the original Roxy is very fish-like. I mean, she's cute and I definitely get her like if I see her at a flea market, but she's not one that I'm like actively searching for. So like in my brain, I have the core four rock angels complete now, which I'm very happy about because I just think that the rock angels dolls, like they're so pretty and the reproductions were so ugly. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to sell my reproductions, but I am just happy to have the originals. So we have Chloe here, which is, oh my god. Oh my god. Cole had these little braids in her hair and I had to put them back in because I just thought they were so darling, adorable, and darling. And I put four of them in there and she's just pretty. This is a reproduction hat, but I think the rest of it is the original besides the, um, the pants. The pants are the, um, the reproduction, but everything else is original and, um, she's just pretty. She's very pretty. She has a gorgeous face. She has a really cute little outfit. And um, she's boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. So she's about to walk all over the girls. Half on backwards. But I love this Chloe. I think she's very stunning. And I also have Miss Yasmin. And Miss Yasmin is so pretty. Like, she's really pretty. Again, these dolls are more common, so they're not, like, gag-worthy or anything. But I just think they're stunning. They have nice, soft, sleek saran hair. And it is pretty long. I know the re reproductions made it a little bit longer, but... I like saran. I think nylon on brats never looks right. It always looks like a wig. And I just think saran like lays a lot better on the head and the head size and the rooting patterns. Um, again, I think a lot of this is original. I think the only thing that's a reproduction is the boots and the choker and the phone maybe. But, um, wow. I don't ever, I don't like the hat on Yasmin. Yasmin's hat looks funky. I had sunglasses on her, but I think they fell off as well. Everything's on my floor right now. So there's a lot of sunglasses. I don't have to be careful, but um, I'm very happy to kind of get these two as well. Let's bring over Sasha wherever she went. My girls are all ready to rock angels. And it feels so good dancing on the edge. It feels so good, like that. I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna watch the Rock Angels movie actually now that I have all the original ones because they're just they're like really good. Like I know they're not the best Bratz line either. Like they're all wearing the same outfit kind of, but they are very stunning. Bratz doll though from Colt was the flashback paper Chloe. I am so happy about this doll because I love Chloe. I think Chloe's like my favorite Bratz character ever, and this doll is just very pretty. This is the first flashback fever doll i have in my collection and i'm very excited and grateful for that opportunity to kind of have the flashback fever one of them because i love the sign this is like one of her lines of brats i just think chloe's really really pretty this base doll is so stunning her makeup is so delicious and so pretty she also has her her like second outfit i think on which is really cute it's miss funk and the belt says flirt and my nails are crazy but she's just really cute in this little denim get up and again i love a good high ponytail sometimes 
Chloe's very, very cutesy patootsy, and I'm happy that she's in my collection. We also got some Monster Hide dolls from the lot, though. I got the G2 Dance the Fright Away Cleo Denial doll, and this doll is amazing. She's my second character from G2, so I have my G2 collection now is three dolls. I have two Lagunas and now my Cleo, and I'm very excited about the growth of this. I have been decided I'm going to collect G2, like, only the dolls that I actually enjoy and not just all of them, because with G1, like, I want every G1 doll, maybe, I think potentially but with g2 i'm gonna be a lot more selective about it because there's a lot of bad dolls and there's less like there's less good ones so it's hard it's easier to collect i think this doll is just very 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 pretty i love the dance the fright away line from monster high i don't want to like put them on or anything but i think these dolls are really cute they're again they're designed the best for g2 she has like fine shoes her dress is really cute and i gave her this belt from the um day out cleo doll because um we'll get to that in a minute but i gave her the belt because she needed the belt and she's really adorable her face is really pretty and i think the bangs turned out really really nice this hair is also like really sleek and nicely done saran um you see even g2 dolls got saran g3 cannot relate but yeah really pretty really stunning a stall from the lot that we have from miss cole is kirsty charleston so i have her bag and i have her and this is again another char new character from monster high for me i have not had her before she's only had one doll and she's already fallen over but um i love this line from monster high it was like their last like really good line for g3 is when they kind of introduced us these brand boo students i think that's what it was called was it called brand boo students i think um Christy's really really cute she's like friends with gulia in the show and like in like the like couple last episodes and i just think she's really adorable i love getting new characters as well for monster high because each character like has a really cool unique sculpt so getting the you know the new unique sculpts is always exciting and i just think she's really nice she's in mint condition as well she has all of her stuff and i think she's never played with either her hair is so easy to fix up i just had to like re-wet it and like put some conditioner in um the hat was never taken off which i love that like when i collect my dolls like i don't like when like their things are taken off their head because like the hats fall off so easily especially with monster high dolls um and it's just happy that it's like secured on there the outfit's also really cute like i like the little like avatar like skelet little thing going on with the shirt and it's really nice and really fun so a huge shout out to cole again this video will hopefully their, that video will go up the whole video of me opening them one day it'll go up but um for now here is kirsty charleston she is gonna diva it out she's also on like the little scissor body which like a troll on like the little scissor body is adorable i like it i think it's fun and i wish g1 used different bodies more but that's not a conversation for right now <laughs> she's just cute a mini break though from the secondhand dolls that we did get some new fresh dollies from target i got my claws on the um fearbook twilight doll I, this was an impulse purchase i was with my friend in target as one does with their friends because what else do we do in the suburbs besides go to target and um i looked through all the fearbook twilights and i'm like this one has a good face and i have 25 dollars, so why not just buy it right now um i know a lot of people with the fearbook twilight have been finding a lot of issues with her face printing and the quality control of her face specifically and i Whenever that happens with the doll that I really want, I'm always like, I want to just get her now, but when I can, like, just find the best face, because, like, I don't want to, like, impulsively buy her on a sale and then, like, be stuck with a bad face, and especially with Monster High dolls, like, I feel like I like buying my dolls in person so I can really see the faces and see the quality and how it works, because every doll, like, I mean, that's with everyone, I guess, but, like, it's just easier to find them in person and do, like, the return thing, but, um, I found a really good face on Miss Twilight, and I think this is my favorite Twilight in all of the universes actually every generation i think this is my favorite twilight design ever i think she's adorable she has really nice soft saran hair the saran cleaned up so much nicer than creeper over twilight did i didn't have to boil this or anything and it just is soft it's silky and it all it needed was literally a condition and she was good i put her on the towel and i left her like like this and she was amazing her outfit just really really adorable and she's held up so nice in my collection to be honest i love these giant platformy shoes some paint would have been nice but i love these shoes anyway i love a good platform but overall, I'm just very happy with this Twilight. Again, for $25, I think she has a really, really good quality. She has nice hair. She has a lot of really cool accessories as well. Like, her accessories are amazing. And this dress is so adorable. And so, like, it makes sense for her character and her aesthetic. Um, I think this is, like, one of the best G3 dolls we've gotten in a while. So, I'm very happy with her. Also, they've got another new G3 doll. This is Quarry Fresh Frankie. And this doll is actually so peak. Like, I think everyone is sleeping on Quarry Fresh Frankie so badly. I don't think y'all really w get the energy of this doll and what this doll is bringing to the table like i feel like everyone like again this doll is a little bit more boring compared to like cleo i think cleo is the best on the line dracula is really good laguna is amazing claudine's there um <laughs> i just think that this doll is kind of a little bit more boring but like they're also just really cool like i don't think y'all get it like the darker alternative makeup with this really gorgeous like aggressive side part with the the nice like saw so this hair the easiest boil wash i've ever had in my life look at this barely moving it 
You see, y'all see my hand? See my arm? See how, see how silky, see how stiff wear. I love when Saran does this. I love when Saran just works and it's nice and it's soft and it's it's silky, it's soft. It was even soft out of the box, but again, that boil wash really just got it, got it to a whole nother level. I just really love this doll. Again, the outfit is really nice. It's not, again, the best outfit on a Monster High doll ever. Like, it's shorts and a shirt and a jacket. Like, we're good. But, um, and, like, the little, like, legging thing was bad. I, ha I had an extra Claudine sock, so I put that on them. And they also have, like, their little, like, um, prosthetic leg has all these different, like, little, like, emojis and stuff, like, drawings on it. And there's a Cleo one on there. If y'all can see the the Cleo drawing on there. We love Clanky. I love that Clanky still exists. The boots are really gorgeous. And overall, I think this doll is amazing. I think the issue with this doll is getting a good face. I think I've gone through so many different Targets and Walmarts and all that fun stuff looking for this doll. And every time I go to the, see the, just like, you know, check up on, see what they're doing and stuff, like see how they are. They always have really different facial qualities. So I think if you find a good Frankie sign with the face, get them when you can i'm mean, not get them right you know you don't need to it's a playline doll like they'll be around for a while but getting one with a good face really does change the experience of this doll to be honest with you guys i hope that makes sense but like every time i see a doll without like a different like a when the, like some one eye is bigger than the other or, like the makeup's not right like i don't really fully connect but like this doll perfect face and i connect so nicely so i just want to say that on here i feel like no one really talks about this doll or like gives them any attention or any energy but um, I just think they're really good, and I wish y'all would give a second chance to this doll, because I think the community, community needs to, like, look at them more, because they're good. As I was getting that doll, though, I was at my grandmother's for the weekend, and I went to the flea market, and I have not gone to a flea market in such a long time in the summer, and I was so lucky to find some really gorgeous G3 dolls for a dollar each, and I got three of them. Um, they only had three, um, available, so, but I got Fabulous Pets Claudine, and she's replacing my original Claudine Fabulous Pets, because my original Fabulous Pets Claudine was wonky, and I'm probably gonna sell my original Fabulous Pets, because, um, this one's just so much prettier, and I don't really feel like I need doubles of certain dolls anymore. Like, I definitely, there are certain dolls I want doubles of, but, like, Fabulous Pets Claudine is, like, not one of them. She's just very pretty. She's very pretty. She's very pretty. She has juicy lips. Her eyes are placed right. And uh, the outfit, again, this is my original outfit, but she came with a lot of her original clothing for the dollar that I paid for her. She had her um, her vest and, like, this whole outfit. I think she had her, her jewelry, her shoes. She didn't have the backpack or the earring. I think she had one earring. And I gave her the, the glasses because on my Fabulous Pets Claudine, I have the glasses on her because I just think the glasses add a little bit more to her design. Um, I love this doll as well, but again, I just got a double of her, and the lips are juicy. A double, I think they're, they're all doubles. Um, this is Fabulous, no, this is not Fabulous Pets. This is Day Out Cleo, the one from Ross. And again, for a dollar, I was very happy with her. I've been wanting another Cleo, like another core Cleo with a rooting pattern, so I could do this hairstyle, because I've been wanting a Cleo with, every time I think of a side part, I think of, like, the Ariana Grande ponytail. Like, I think of the Ariana Grande Bratz Forever Diamonds ponytail and i had to give this cleo a ponytail and she has a ponytail like she's giving arianka she's giving seven rings she's gonna be a dangerous woman and she is a dangerous woman um and i gave her this just nice little ponytail again i was very happy for a dollar i gave her some other outfit stuff from um like the shoes are from school demon secrets school demon secrets school demon secrets and this is her original necklace and again i gave the belt to the um the Cleo, the Cleo that I just showed, the um, Vance the Fightaway Cleo, um, and yeah, I don't know, it's always, I think G3 dolls are so easy to collect, because, like, again, they're, a lot of the times, they're kind of more basic sometimes, so, like, you can really just redress them and give them a different vibe, and really just make them really fun, so I don't know, I really enjoy this Cleo, she's really cool, and she's a part of my collection now, for a dollar. Last doll that I got was the one in the worst condition when I got her, and again, she was a dollar, so I wasn't, like, angry about it, but this is the Creep of Her Twyla, and I think she turned out amazing, 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 amazing. Um, her hair was so easy to boil wash, it wasn't really, it was matted when I first got her, but, like, after, you know, detangling it and boiling it, it turned out really, really nice. It's not, like, the curliest hair, and it's not, like, you know, the sleekest hair in my collection or anything, but it turned out a lot nicer than my original one from two years ago, so I feel like I've learned a lot since buying my original Creep production, or my original Creep of Her Twyla, like, two years ago, and I've learned a lot about doll hair and how, you know, boil washing works and stuff, and... Um, again, this isn't, like, the best doll hair ever, but I'm definitely excited to kind of revise my original Twyla. I think she, is she behind me right now? I don't know. I think, I thought she was behind me, but she's not. Um, and yeah, this Twyla is just very cute. I kind of gave her a little different outfit. She has this Ultimate Secrets Neon Frights, um, Twyla shirt on. She has these little jeans on. I have, gave her these little, um, shoes. I want to give her a belly button piercing and a jacket, The I, but I don't have a super glue right now. The super glue is coming in the mail, like, today or tomorrow. So, when that happens, I'll give her a little belly button piercing with a little gem I have. Um, and I'm excited to kind of see what this doll's about. I was originally going to take the bangs off and, like, remove them, but I just decided to, like, just, like, see if I could, like, lay them down nice, and I could lay them down nice, so, like, 
the bangs are laid down nice right now so i'm gonna let them be nice and if i decide in the future that like i want this doll to have no bangs then i'll cut them off and like you know pluck them out then but um for right now she's very cute and she's giving y'all diva down the next couple of dolls that I have were really, really cool because they were sent to me for free by Mattel for review purposes and all that stuff. And um, it's always exciting whenever I get the opportunity to be sent anything from Mattel. It's something that I'm going to be forever grateful for and forever have huddled close to my heart. And I want to show you guys, before we get into the dolls, the really cool like little um, little posters that we got for the, um, the, the collaboration. This is the Wednesday Monster High collection. This is our work done by Rebecca Shipman, I want to say. And... Oh my god, it's so pretty. And I just want to show you guys because I'm so grateful for it. And without you guys, I would not be here showing you guys this stuff. And it's just, um, again, something that I still don't think is real. Like, it's, it's been three packages and I still am like, what? I lose my mind every time. Like, I was, I opened the box and I was, like, crying on the floor. I was like, okay, this is fine. But, um, the dolls and stuff that we got in the box were really, really cool. So, the first thing that we have to show you guys is the fashion pack that I got. This is a paint and black fashion pack. I gave the, the, the outfit to Jackie Laura and I ungave it to her. And then I gave it to her back for right now because, um, it's kind of really cute on her. I don't know if I like the shoes with it. I kind of gave her these little haunted shoes from, um haunted they were in my stock box or my stock box maybe my accessory bin for a while and i think they fit really really nicely with this little dress the dress is really really cute and i enjoy it it also came with the cello and the hoodie and the hoodie is really gorgeous i don't know what to do with the hoodie and like i don't know who to give it to but the fashion back came with this really nice hoodie which is really cool also sent the um the raven doll the raven dance wednesday this is the one the dance 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 with my hands 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 around my brown brown you know that trend um so that's kind of this doll's moment and i think she's adorable Horrible. I think she's really really cute. I think a lot of people are really mean to her for some reason and I, I kind of like, I think the shoes are a little bit like silly But um, I don't think she's a bad doll by any means. I think she's actually really adorable in the hairstyle y'all Getting into this hairstyle. It's very diva down and the outfits really really cute Um, and she's really nicely to display like she displays really really nicely next to the um original Wednesday dolls The, the collector version that we have we got like earlier this year and um She's got a pop culture moment. She has a really cool, like, painted nails. Um, and this doll is really, really fun. Again, she's the more deluxe version of the Wednesday. We also have the original Core Wednesday. I'm gonna, sorry, scoot Eden back. Um, Enid. I mispronounced her name in her video, so I do apologize to Miss Diva. But, um, here we have the School Uniform Wednesday doll. This is my favorite doll from the collection. I've been saying this. I think she is the best from the line. I think she's so amazing. Again, I feel really bad because when I did this video, I feel like I don't know that much about anything ever. Like, again, I'm mainly here for Monster High and Bratz. Like, I don't know, like, a lot about, like, some of the collaborations Monster High does, and that's never a shade to them. It's just that, like, I don't like i'm here for the dolls like i'm here for monster high like i've been here for monster high like that's the the, the lore i know but that the, the it was for the adams the adams family like the intro that that's what the snapping is for and i didn't realize that and then i felt really bad because everyone in the comments was like that's what it's for i'm like i don't know that i'm sorry i think this doll is just already iconic like this outfit i think was the one used in the promotional pictures and stuff for the wednesday show and um she's really pretty she's just pretty she's obviously modeled after jenna ortega because that's who played wednesday in the show and she's really pretty i love the shoes i love the shoes i love these little stockings as well they're really cool because they look like, like leggings but like if you want to use them as like a different thing to resell that you can she has a really cool little bag and her little cousin it or thing a thing is somewhere around i keep dropping things but um wednesday is just like the prettiest doll i think from the collection as well i think i've already said that but she displays again so so nicely on my shelf and i'm just happy to have her she's really 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 pretty um and i also and i saw these dolls in walmart before i got them and i was like i want these dolls so bad because they looked so pretty on the store shelves i also had you have enid I, enid or edid enid edid it's again it's been a while since i watched the show it's been like two years since the show came out and i'm just a little bit rusty on it but she's also adorable again everyone hates her for some reason i think she's amazing her hair has to be washed though i have not washed it yet um I've been very lazy and I've been busy. School's back in session and I hate, I don't want to go back to school. I want to play with dolls. That's all I want to do in life is just play with my dolls. But um, Enid's also very, very adorable. She has her really cute little beret. And I like her outfit. Her outfit's really, really nice. I love the shoes. The shoes are really diva down. Um, Her bag's really cute. So I've been just enjoying seeing these dolls on my shelf. They look are really, really good next again. The other collector dolls, I kind of have them sandwiched in between. Um, like Annabelle and Chucky and then obviously the Wednesday Morticia and the other Wednesday doll um so they look kind of funny on the shelf maybe I'll scoot them back a little bit different maybe when I put them back on the shelf because I had to like, obviously take them down for the video but um but yeah I don't know this is a really cool collaboration and collection I'm very grateful that I was again sent to send them and um 
yeah, really cool, really fun, and an opportunity that I will never forget. The last one that I have was a really fun one that I got on Macari a couple days ago. This is the 13 Wishes Home Because of Frankie Stein doll. This doll was like 17 bucks, and I was jumping for joy because I've been seeing this doll, and this doll is not like the doll that's on my iOS list or anything, but this is like a doll that I've had in the back of my mind that I want to collect because I want to get the, like, I want to get like the big Monster High lines complete. Like, I want like the 13 Wishes line complete. I have Sarah's complete. I actually cannot think of any more right now off the top of my head, but like Dawn of the Dance, like schools out, like the big monster high lines that are like iconic. Like I would love to get like the movie li lines, like let's just keep it like that. Like the movie lines, I'd love to get complete and that's kind of my goal right now with Monster High. But obviously it's hard to collect a Monster High because they're so expensive. And I found this doll for 17 bucks on Macari and I had some money on Macari from selling some other things. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. So the doll doesn't have the crown. So everything, Frankie has everything else but the crown, which is annoying. So if anyone has 13 Wishes on the Casbah, Frankie's Bolt crown, DM me as well on Instagram because I would love to buy it from you guys because I would love the crown. I think the crown would complete the look. But beyond the crown, this doll is complete with everything else. We have the shoes. We have the nice little like high. I love a good high low skirt. It's so gorgeous. The the hair turned out really, really nice. The bangs are so pretty and the face is perfect. I actually bought this doll a while ago from a friend on doll Twitter um, earlier in January. But UPS lost the package and they never gave me my money back. So, um... Thank you, UPS, for losing my package and then never sending me the money. Because I made, like, the request to, like, get the money back because, like, you lost my package. And they, like, we don't have enough claim. We don't have enough proof. Even though I sent them the messages, I sent them the doll pictures, I sent them my bank statements. So, um, I'm mad at UPS forever. But I have one of the dolls from the package. I have 13 Wishes Frankie now. Picture Day Laguna, you're next. Still not over that. I'm still angry about that. Because you lost my package and you didn't give me my money back. UPS, I have it out for you. But yeah, this doll was really cute and a really fun way to kind of end August. I'm probably gonna go on a little, little bit of a doll break, you know, starting in September because of how many dolls I bought this month. There, there's a lot of dolls here. <laughs> there's a lot more dolls than I think I usually have. And um, it just kind of, so that's just how it happens. Like when secondhand dolls, like I get in like a little like thing of like, okay, like they're all, all the good deals just pop out at once and like I stop for a while. So I'm probably gonna stop buying dolls for a minute. Like September is probably gonna be a little bit more of a casual haul, like one or two maybe. I don't really know what's releasing. I hope nothing crazy releases in September. Please let me have a moment where I can recover from all of this stuff. But if I had to give you guys my favorite dolls though from Miss August, I'd have to give you guys Miss Wednesday Adams, the core doll. It's always fun to kind of complete some grail dolls and get my Rocky Angel Sasha. She's another favorite of mine. Flashback Fever Chloe lost her shoe, but she was also gonna giant favorite other two are definitely the um quarry fresh frankie and twyla these dolls are also so so good also iconic i don't care everyone hates this doll but i love her i love her long fingernails and i think eden is such a cute character in the show and she's cool to have a doll of so um this is my favorites i think for right now um uh, my quarry fresh fear book wednesday Rock Angels, Flash Rock Fever, and then Enid. Um, I think that all these dolls are really gorgeous, and all the dolls that I got um, this month were, I'm very grateful and excited to have them all, and yes, I'm very excited about this haul. I'm also very excited about September. I hope that there's a lot of fun things in the dolly world that happen. All right, but it's now time for you guys to let me know all of your thoughts and all of your feelings in the comments below. Please, please, please let me know if you guys got any dolls in August and which one was your favorite, and also let me know what dolls you guys are looking forward to in September. If I had to answer that question, I would definitely say Cory Fresh Cleo again. That doll's amazing, but I don't know if I'll get her in September. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but um, for now, thank you guys, though, so, so, so much for watching today's video. It was so much fun with you guys, and I cannot wait to catch you, though, in the next one. I love you guys all endlessly, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Love ya. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>